we're going to show you how to make a magic memory stick. You will need a PSP, you will need a memory stick with at least one gigabyte of space, and you will need a PC. You will also need the files which are located here which will be attached to a link below. First you want to extract your files and you will have these right here. Just double click on the file that says begin and follow the instructions. You want to go into your system settings, go down to format memory stick and say yes. And then say yes again. Okay, now that you've done that, press any key to continue. Connect your PSP via USB. So go to USB connection and start your USB connection. And then press any key on the computer. Please enter your memory stick drive letter. You'll need to find which one of these would be your PSP. See right here, ours is drive D. So just hit D and enter. Hit enter again. And then wait for it to finish. As you can see, it is writing to the memory stick. Alright, now it's done. Just push enter again. Push any key again. You are about to format the drive D. All data will be lost. Type Y and then push enter again. Okay, now that it's done, push enter. Now just follow the instructions. It says take out your memory stick while still in USB mode. Take out your memory stick. Just pop it out and then hit circle to exit USB connection and then push enter. Put your memory stick back in your PSP and start the USB connection again. And now press enter again. Now it's copying the files. Okay, now it's done. Press enter. It'll say installing IPL on drive, whatever your drive was. Just press Y and press enter. Push enter again. Congratulations. You have just finished making a magic memory stick. Alright, so now it's done. Alright, we're going to show you how to install custom firmware using a Pandora battery and a magic memory stick you made using the PC. This is a PSP 2000. You can use either one of your Pandora batteries, your fat PSP battery or your slim. Just remember if you're modding a PSP 1000, use a fat battery or plug your charger in. If, it, if you're using a fat one and you have a slim battery, plug your charger in, stick this in long enough to boot the program and then take the battery out or it will mess your slim battery up. So what you want to do is you want to take your magic memory stick and insert it into your memory card slot. And then take your Pandora battery and put it into your battery. As soon as you stick it in, it will automatically turn on by itself. Can you see? See the screen? You'll come up to this screen. Just press X to install the custom firmware.
Okay, now that it's done, it'll say to pop install success. Press X to shut down the PSP. So now that it's done, take out your Pandora battery and put in your regular battery or your, just plug in your charger and remove your battery. To ensure that it installs successfully, go to system settings, system information. If it says 3.80 M33-5, congratulations, you have installed custom firmware. Right, we're going to show you how to install custom firmware using a Pandora battery and a magic memory stick you used, you created using programs on your PSP. What you want to do is insert your magic memory stick first. You will want to hold down the L key because once you insert your battery, the PSP will automatically turn on. You want to choose the first option, flash install CFW 5.50 Gen D3. And once it's done, just push X to reboot your PSP. Check and make sure it installs successfully. Go down to system settings, system information. If it says 5.50 Gen D3, congratulations, you've installed custom firmware. Alright, we're going to show you how to install custom firmware without needing a Pandora's battery or a magic memory stick. You're going to need your PSP on firmware 6.35, which is included with the magic memory stick download. It will show, that will show you how to install 6.35 as well, because you will need to be able to run Homebrew to be able to do this. Well, our, this PSP is already on firmware 6.35. You'll want to go to Game and go down to run this program right here, 6.35 update. Once it comes up, press X, press X again. And then from here, go down to game again, and then start the one that says PSP update version 6.38. Press X to start the update.
and then it's installing. It's done. Press X to restart. Do a check. Go down to system settings. System information. If it says 6.38 ME-2 then you are on custom firmware.